Uh, hello friends, today in this tutorial I will be showing you that uh, how basically you can plot the any nearby places or any restaurants, any parks inside your Google map using Google Places API and Google Autocomplete API that offers you can see we are displaying the Google Maps here and basically we have a autocomplete search field out there. Here you can enter any location around the world and basically it will tell you the top 10 nearby places, locations or any sort of parks or restaurants. You will see Google Places API provides these places types. You can provide here park here, you can provide here let's suppose schools. So if I just provide school here, then I would write any location here. Let's suppose if I write any location. Let's suppose if I write Auckland here. And you will see top 10 schools will be listed out here. You will see it will plot by these red marks markers out there. And if I individually hit any of these markers out there, it will give me the place name here. You will see New Zealand International College. And then it will also, I think, if any sort of image is also there, it will also open the images as well. You will see that. If any of the places have the images, they will also open the images also. You will see the places images. You will see that. So if any location has some images, they will also open it in the new tab. So you can do this for any location out there guys. You will see that basically it will now open. You can write any location here. Let's suppose if I write my nearby location. I live in the, so if I write here. Uh, like this here. So you will now see it will give you the top 10 schools out there. You will see that. So basically each and every location has some place ID, you will see that. So these images are fetching from the Google Places API guys, you will see that these uh, images that you are seeing right here, basically these are fetched, these names and images are fetched from the Google Places API, you will see that. Basically you can do this for any location out there, there is this autocomplete box out there, you can repeat this for any location, you will see that. You can put any location here and then it will give you the top locations, top nearby places. And if you go to the Google Places API documentation, then it provides these the places types. You can just give the nearby accounting places, airports as well, amusement park, aquarium, art gallery, ATM, bakery. So let's suppose if I want to get the top 10 ATMs in a radius of locations, I will provide here. I type to ATM. So now if I want to find out the locations, let's suppose I am living in a location here and I write this location. So it will give me these top ATMs which are located inside this. You will see that. You can see that. So now it is giving me ATMs as well. So basically places can be of any type. It can be ATM, it can be parks, it can be restaurants, it can be anything and basically you will see that so you can go to the places uh, types guys you will see police stations churches city halls clothing store convenience store so secondary school shoe store shopping malls as well you will see if i paste shopping mall here so you can do this uh, all the source code that i have written for this application i have written uh, given in the description of this video i have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website where i have explained each instruction in detail so you will find out all the source code in the description of the video so if i paste it here you will see that basically these are You can see that basically it will give you the full screenshot of all the markets. You will see that basically. So it's a nice little places API. It gives you the screenshot as well. Basically you will see that. You can give, you can see that. You can see that. So we will be building this application guys. I have shown you the demo of this application, how it is built. So you can go to the description of this video to get all the source code. So now to build this application, it's very simple. You need to go to your Google Cloud Console to get the information, to get the API keys. And also 
first of all you will need to enable two apis for this application first is the google places api and the google javascript maps api so go, go to google maps platform and enable these apis for, for first is this google places api you need to enable this api and this uh, maps javascript api so these two apis are needed for this so just enable this and go to credentials and here you need to just copy paste your own your own api key so simply cl click on create credentials and select api key here and select and paste it here so that's all so i have given this source code in the description of this video so basically i will now write this source code step by step so that you will understand each instruction that i have written right now so first of all you need to enable this http maps google apis.com maps api js and here you need to paste your api key and then we are loading the libraries which is places api so that's all after this script tag we have this simple input field out there guys here will be the auto complete text field where you will write your address so this will translate into latitude and longitude and depending upon your address we will be showing the top nearby places and then we have the simple map location where we will be displaying the map so right here we will be writing the custom javascript code for our application so first of all guys what we will do here we will simply declare three variables out there for the map service and the info window so here we will be initializing our map here so i can even just initialize this initialize just write this function initialize yeah initialize so basically guys this function will be executed whenever yeah so basically we will be adding this function whenever you load your map so google.maps.event and there is a dom listener out there so there is event out there we can we can the event is load event and here we are uh, calling this function which is initialize so we are calling this function whenever your google maps library loads out there so inside this library guys what we need to do is that we just need to basically uh, load our google map and here basically we will provide the latitude and the longitude so we are using the latitude longitude and this is latitude this is longitude after this we will initialize our map here so this is new google dot maps and here we will be initializing our map on this uh, element which has got the id of map and the second is our we are providing the center which is this one and zoom level we are providing is 15 that's all so what will happen guys if you now load your application your google map will be loaded here if you refresh here you will see that your google map is loaded at this latitude and longitude now we just need to basically uh, you will also see your basically input field out there if i show you this input field so nothing is happening right here if i right inside this input field nothing is there so we need to load the autocomplete results out there for doing this it's very simple we will get the reference to this input field right here by the id that we have given you will see search text field we have given the id and after this we simply need to get the autocomplete results so for this we will be initializing the library which is new google maps places and basically there is a feature called as autocomplete out there so we will be initializing binding this autocomplete and we will pass the reference which is input that's all and now we just simply need to say autocomplete bind to there is this method out there and we will bind to this uh, bounds here which is the map that's all and now if you write these two lines of code guys if you now refresh your application so what will happen here if you type any sort of location here you will see that these autocomplete results will there come here you will see as you write your location out there it will show you now we need to place the red markers out there guys depending upon the location that you have written we need to show that nearby places out there for that we will be making again request to google places api for this so here we will be basically declare a marker here so we will place the marker using google.maps.marker and inside this we will pass the map reference that's it so we need to place markers on these locations so here in order to basically we will 
place markers whenever you click on the map. So we will be binding this event add listener to the map here. So whenever we will say auto complete event is there and whenever the place is changed. So basically this is the event guys whenever your place is changed whenever you write a location inside your auto complete this event automatically fires. So whenever your place is changed so this callback function will execute here and inside this what we need to say is that we need to get the place. So now we can get the place using this function which is autocomplete dot get place. So this will get the actual place which the user has written and after this we can console log it just to get information about it and also we will be showing uh, the photographs as well. So now to show the photographs we will get place dot photos zero. It will have multiple photographs but we will be only be showing the first one. So we will get the URL of that photograph. So what will happen guys if you now refresh your application and now if I inspect element, if I go to console, if I write a location here, let's suppose this location, you will see basically these uh, address is returned out there. These properties returned here, which is address components, formatted address, geometry, HTML attributes. And this is the basically the ad pick of the address that I have written here. You will see all this information is returned to us using the Google Places API. Now we just need to place the markers on the screen. It's very simple. We will have a simply a if condition here. We will have place dot geometry if this property exists. Place dot geometry dot viewport. So in that case we just need to say map dot fit bounds. So basically this we will be placing the markers. So this will be place geometry viewport. That's all. And in the else block we will set the center of the map if this doesn't exist. In that case place dot geometry location. And then we will set the zoom level of the map to 17. You can also change the zoom level by using this method set zoom. That's all. And now we simply need to change the visibility of the marker by first of all we will set the position of the marker to place dot geometry dot location. So this will set the marker and now we change, need to change the visibility of the marker to true. So set visible to true. That's all. So now it will also show the marker to you. So now if you place the location here, pass the location, now you will see that one marker is shown to you. Only one marker. So now we need to show the top 10 nearby places. For that it's very simple. After that you do this. After you change this visibility to true. We will make a request to this uh, location API. Sorry, Google Places API. This request will contain basically three options. First is the location which we got from this previous step. Now in the second step we will put the radius. So radius you can customize. I will provide 500 meters. In 500 meters of the location that I have written I need to get the top 10 restaurants or parks or ATMs. You will provide here ATM here let's suppose. And then basically we will execute this new google maps places dot and basically this contains a service out there guys which is called as places services so this is places service and here we will pass our map that's all and after this we just need to say service dot nearby and this is the method guys which lets you get the nearby places. So nearby search and here we will pass our request alongside with the callback function. So this callback function will execute guys whenever this request is successful. Now we just need to write this uh, callback function guys. So right here we will basically write this callback function. So this is function callback. So inside this function guys you will get your results out there and the status. You will get uh, depending upon how many places will are returned to you and uh, let me just copy paste this code here. You will get all the source code in the description. So inside this if condition we are checking for the status property here and depending upon that we are looping through the length of the results out there. So let's suppose 10 results are returned. So we will be placing 10 markers. So we are 
created this method out there which is called as create marker and with the help of this we will be simply be let me paste this method out there so depending upon the place which is returned to you so here we will be writing a simple method to create the marker you will see basically inside the argument the place is passed as an argument and depending upon the marker we are placing the position we are placing the marker on the given position so we have also bind in an event as, as well which is uh, it will open this uh, photograph when you open that red marker it will open the photograph it will also give you the name of the location using place.name and place.photos that's all just delete this line so now if you open this application guys so application is complete now if you enter the address here let's suppose if i write uh, krishna if you see you will see that this is basically the name of the atm and this is basically the photograph you will see that So in this way guys you can build a, build out this awesome little nearby places application using Google Places API and Google Maps JavaScript API in pure JavaScript in the browser I have shown you the demo all the source code is given in the description of this video please hit that like button subscribe the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video